People on bikes aren't just obstacles, something to be avoided, they're flesh and blood. Mums and dads, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, and they need motorists to give them space when overtaking. Cyclists don't ride in a perfectly straight line. They make small adjustments in order to stay upright from side to side all of the time. It's a space known as the dynamic envelope. Think of that dynamic envelope as an exclusion zone around the cyclist, an area that you must not enter. The amount of space you need to give cyclists is more than you might think. The dynamic envelope often needs to be stretched, for instance, when cyclists need to avoid imperfections in the road surface like this, hazards to the cyclist that the motorist might not even be able to see. Giving cyclists plenty of room isn't just common courtesy, it's in the highway code. Here's master driving instructor Blaine Walsh to explain more. Overtaking is one of the riskiest things you can do as a driver. It's critical to get it right for your safety and the safety of other road users. Sadly, you don't have to search YouTube very hard to find some incredibly dangerous and close overtaking of cyclists. Clearly, these drivers are not aware of what the highway code says about the space they're required to give cyclists. Here's what it says about overtaking vulnerable road users. Rule 163 says, give cyclists at least as much space as you would a car. Let's see what this looks like in the real world. I can see there's a group of cyclists. I'm not going to overtake them here because I can't see anything that's ahead. Now I can see it's safe to pass here, so I'll indicate. Remember I've got to give cyclists as much room as I'd give a car. That means getting right across to that other carriageway. There, job done. I'm safe, they're safe. And what works for overtaking groups? works for overtaking us. 